love. मन लाइ चले बिस्मिल्लाहमानीम गुड नाइट एवरी ओन डियर स्टूडेंट्स कलिग्स माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड द मेम्बार्स अफ एक्सिस मेडिकल स्कूल ग्रुप अनल ग्रुप येस आई एम सींग सामबडी Yes, 23 already in there. So uh, accordingly, at the 10 p.m. today, uh, according to my commitment, uh, I'm here in life. Uh, first of all, I want to introduce myself as it is uh, uh, my first uh, lecture with you. Okay. So thanks to the Axis Medical School uh, admin moderators and uh, the campus ambassador here to invite me on this occasion uh, uh, for this academic discussion and it's, it's a virtual classroom. Uh, so this is uh, Dr. Saluddin Al Azad. My nickname is uh, Shohag. Uh, I am a graduate from Dhaka Dental College, 2005, and uh, by profession i am a prosthodontist obviously dentist and by emotion i am a medical educationist so i love everyone every time uh, to teach to research though i am a clinician but i like i like to be academician okay so as per as per our discussion today's my lecture topics is here uh, it, it it will be important for final year final prof students uh, as well as the dental surgeon who are in practice they can gain some theory also I, I'll not make the class too much longer uh, as this is uh, sorry interrupted as this is uh, uh, a virtual online classroom i'm going for short and it, this is uh, basically aimed for undergraduate students and you know already uh, i am teaching as uh, the departmental head of prosthodontics as well as science and dental materials since 2011 uh, from the mandy dental college and i am also the principal of this institute Okay, I think there's enough for my introduction. I no, no need uh, introduction. Actually, our views and themes are actually the teaching and shares academic discussion as well as theoretical. Everybody knows this is uh, the now the situation is under locked lockdown. Though the majority of the peoples are not abiding by these rules, and this is a holy Ramadan. So I started after Tarabi after uh, performing all the rituals of Islam and uh, all the all the day fasting ramadan so now uh, thank you everyone to come with this lecture and now i am going for today's uh, topics it's a very um, interesting as well as some tough portion of the fixed prosthodontics you know as well the prosthodontics in categorically in broad heading we can divide it into three parts uh, and uh, partial fixed uh, and complete so tooth preparation today is my topics i love prosthodontics and basically i am an implantologist i love to do implants a uh, lot of implants uh, so mm, let's uh, start uh, uh, wa alaikum all of my student i think i am seeing some of my students some of my colleagues also professional colleagues uh, so uh, tooth preparation 
actually tooth preparation why we need this for fix prostate on ticks it's a very important and the basic things is the tooth preparation so first of all uh, generally we we want uh, we want to uh, disclose we want to discuss about what it is uh, my reference for this today's topics and lecture is definitely from internet some journals of prostodontics and uh, some textbook here also uh, Deepox and voucher as well as two and three uh, books uh, from JIP publishers and also some books from USA based okay so what is tooth preparation there are students and fellow colleagues uh, preparation of the tooth in generally that for what to receive the restoration why to reestablishment the aesthetic functional and a crucial feature so if typically we define it as uh, what is what do we know about the tooth preparation we can denote we can discuss like this it is a mechanical alteration of defective injured decayed tooth to receive a restoration to reestablish the healthy status or healthy state of the tooth again i'm repeating mechanical alteration of disease decayed distorted injured or defective tooth to receive restoration to reestablish the healthy state of the tooth this is simply the definition about the tooth preparation so what are the objectives of today's lecture today's session I will see mainly uh, we have to know what are the objectives of tooth preparation first thing objectives steps of tooth preparation and some terminologies inside it which is much more important uh, for you guys students uh, for professional exams and um, uh, actually I am making a very gist and uh, excise form of the lectures of uh, for you <laughs> so uh, now we go to the basic principles what why what principle we follow for uh, prepare the tooth for the fixed prosthodontics reception of the fixed prosthodontic restoration and samples there are four basic principle four we have to remember four basic principle every time we have to remember four so you have to get by heart in your mind how many four Look, this uh, uh, teaching uh, and learning is a basically interactive process. Though you are all are hearing me, uh, so far I am understanding. Mm, uh, so uh, I I am trying to deliver you and taking some feedbacks. I am giving a trial of this like this. Okay. So how many principles? Four basic principles. Number one. Prevention, a uh, preservation of healthy tooth structure. Number two retention and resistance number three structural durability and number four and finally the preservation of healthy periodontia these four are the basic principle of the tooth preparation for fixed prosthodontics for crown prosthesis for uh, breeze prosthesis and uh, all other prosthesis in use for uh, fixed prosthodontics so we have to follow these four basic principles in case of tooth preparation now let's we uh, explain uh, in details uh, inside these four principles and first of all preservation of tooth structure everyone you know the how wha what are the vital part of the tooth uh, and definitely for uh, insertion of before insertion of artificial processes we have to preserve the natural teeth because this is naturally by um, uh, form during the development of the whole systems of the body all uh, bony systems alveolus and as well as musculoskeletal system so we have to every time we have to remember and much more important is the preservation of the vital tooth structure so preservation of the tooth structure is means here preservation of vital tooth structure so how we can uh, maintain the tooth uh, preservation we can preserve the tooth structure during the preparation we have to be less invasive that means minimal reduction of tooth structure you know very well already those who have gone through prosthodontics and those who are already in the process of final professions 
and for some ones who are already in uh, process of, of new uh, students or uh, for the for august batch who are taking preparation you also know that uh, um, what is reduction what are the steps of the preparation for uh, posterior uh, crown or anterior strip crown like this so reduction is a part of this process and so preservation for preservation of vital tooth structure we need to reduce the vital tooth structure very very minimum so first principle preservation of vital tooth structure we have to remember we have to remind that minimal reduction and it, it is for uh, uh, 80 to 90 percent healthy tooth but what about the grossly carriers decayed tooth where the crowns are already been broken out where the broken down crown more than two thirds more than half of the um, uh, crowns of the tooth so how we will preserve here the tooth structure much more important question here so here we will preserve the tooth structure by um, built up you know for endodontics uh, some trips and tricks are there why endodontics uh, endodontists oftenly say in their um, uh, seminar and their presentations and also for their hands-on training they say the um, pre endo build up like before endodontic treatment they uh, they want to take the shape of the um, prosthodontics or functional shape of the tooth then they go for endodontic treatment uh, so here uh, we have to think that when their teeth is grossly carious or decayed or broken down or diseased or infected in that case how we will preserve the tooth structure okay minimum portion that is uh, the destructed portion the necrosed portion we have to remove copious in, uh, irrigation will have to go there and we have we can put the core and double core post like this where a maximum portion of the crown is broken down in this way the decayed and diseased tooth we can preserve the vital tooth structure but for uh, most of the healthy tooth and 80 to 90 percent carry a healthy tooth uh, with 5 to 10, 7 percent or 10 percent carries we can do we can preserve the vital tooth structure by minimal reduction yes we will come next how what is minimal reduction what is reduction on uh, furthermore so the next one is, uh, if we go the retention and resistant form i have summarized here so i am trying to uh, summarize this lecture here so what is retention and resistance it's very important for uh, restoration when we insert inside a natural tooth uh, because it's a fixed processes if 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 it's dislodged uh, this is a, a, a loss of reputation for the profession as well as the dental surgeon also so we have to be very much careful about this so what is retention and resistance we have to know that first then we can we we, we easily understand uh, what is the retention and resistance in case of the principles of uh, tooth preparation here you know, uh, it's very uh, simply i am this can see there is very strict difference between re retention and resistance what is retention this is the ability of prepar uh, preparation of tooth to prevent dislodgement displacement of the restoration dislodgement or displacement of restoration or third amra jokhon ekta dant ke preparation korchi sei preparation ta crown or any kind of processes or any kind of intra coronal restoration ke dhore rakhar jonno seta jate dislodgement ke prevent korte pare ami abar bolchi ability of preparation to prevent displacement of the restoration is known as the retention for tooth preparation for the fixed prosthodontics and what is resistance this is also an ability this ability for what ability of the processes this is of when the we insert the processes the ability of these processes not the tooth these processes ability of these processes to prevent displacement by forces external forces so what forces vertical or oblique that is any external forces uh, whether oblique or uh, epical in uh, theory we can mention whether epical or oblique under occlusal forces so when occlusal forces are given here it goes directly to the restoration then to the teeth so the restoration itself is preventing the forces whether epically or obliquely this 
property is known as resistance and the property of the preparation and prepared tooth to uh, prevent the displacement of the preparation prepared tooth uh, by um, for the restoration is known as retention i am telling again to clear the confusion ability of the prepared tooth to pre displacement prevent displacement of the restoration is known as uh, retain uh, retention and for resistance it is ability of the prosthesis to prevent displacement by forces whether it is oblique or apical so now how uh, uh, there are some uh, theoretical question for maybe oral presentation for viva which you known as uh, ospi there are some question in ospi or mcq what are they so how retention can be gained there are two type of retention already you know in for in operative dentistry you, you got already in conservation dentistry but here also there are two type of uh, retention number one is primary retention which is which is uh, done by sleeve preparation and number two is secondary retention i think most of you know you are uh, already known what is secondary retention secondary retention is got here by pin groove and fissures like this these are the pattern of the anatomy of the tooth by which the retention is got here so uh, uh, here the um, retention is secondary retention is gone by pin groove or box preparation and primary retention is for by preparation of the tooth this is sleeve preparations the here reference is deepak uh, you can get it in here there so uh, what is uh, the theory of the retention here Mm, definitely for retention we need the preparation and trapping of the tooth but we have to remind one thing it's very much important we have to remember that degree of tapering is inversely proportional to the retention so if you prepare the teeth more tapered retention will be less if you prepare the tooth less tapering retention will be more so this is in retention is inversely uh, proportional to tapering tapering is more retention is less tapering is less the retention will be more ah banglay bolar jonno onekhe bolche jehetu medical term ami chesta korchi bangla ingreji miliye bolte to ei khane retention ta bola hocche tapering amra joto tuku cutting er shomoy joto tuku tapering korbo retention tato कम हो टैपारिंग जो करब टैपारिंग मीस डिग्री अफ इनक्लैनेशन डिग्री अफ काटिंग सो स्टैंडार्ड रूल टा कि स्टैंडार्ड रूल इज हेयर द कन्भार्जेंस द टैपारिंग इज हेयर विटुईन फोर डिग्री टू टेन डिग्री आइडियल इज सिक्स डिग्री टैपारिंग फर परफेक्ट रिटेंशन अफ द रेस्टोरेशन हेयर एंड अल्सो फर द क्राउन हाइट इफ उ इनक्रीज द हाइट इट इज जस्ट प्रपोर्शनल टू द रिटेंशन if we increase the height retention will be more that is crown height if we uh, sometimes there is less crown height so we uh, 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 maintain there the surgical crown lengthening surgically we go subgingivally to make the uh, to increase the height of the crown so that retention will be more here like this so height of the prepared to if more retention will be more if the height of the prepared crown is uh, less then the retention will be less and um, now uh, this was just a short description of the retention and resistance so this was principle number 2 now the principle number 3 what is structural durability durable means you know structural means tooth structure durability durable means it is sufficient the bulk is sufficient so sufficient bulk to withstand the stresses of force arthat dater joto tuku structure joto tuku bulk joto tuku thickness dorkar occlusal force by stress ke withstand korar jonno opposite teeth jokhon dater pressure dibe sei pressure ta ke resist korar jonno joto tuku structure dater thaka dorkar that is called the bulk and thickness of the tooth which in terms of the principle structural durability 
for structural durability what is important adequate reduction not more but not less also reduction should be adequate or that adequate reduction আমাদের করতে হবে আমরা আসছি কতটুকু রিডাকশান করতে হবে ডিউইং প্রিপারেশান স্টেপস অফ প্রিপারেশানে আমরা আসবো হোয়াট আর দ্য ডিফারেন্ট রিডাকশান অফ দ্য টুল দ্যাট ইস প্রিপারেশান অফ দ্য টুল সো আমরা প্রথমে প্রিন্সিপালগুলো মূলনীতিগুলো শেষ করব দাম দেন আমরা চলে যাব প্রিপারেশানে সো মার্জিনাল অ্যাডাপটেশান অ্যান্ড সিটিং অফ দ্য রেস্টোরেশান ইজ নোন অ্যাজ মার্জিনাল ইন্টেগ্রিটি দ্য প্রিন্সিপাল নাম্বার ফোর so now we are coming to the principle four, uh, four that is marginal integrity integration means close contact close contact one with another so what is marginal integration that is the marginal uh, uh, sitting that is the adaptation and sitting of the restoration incomparable with the tooth so when it is more integrated that will be more retentive and there is no chance of dislodgement of the prosthesis or res restoration in this case structural durability kotha amra bolchi reduction e kotha ami ager principle e phire jacchi so ikhane viber ekta question ashe for ospi it is much more important uh, many times the senior professors uh, senior faculty most of the prosthodontics asks the question and this is much more basics how much reduction is done in different preparation like for pro all ceramic restoration how much we have to reduce for metal ceramic restoration how much we have to reduce that is pfm which is known as porcelain fused to metal and for metal uh, for metal preparation how much we have to reduce we have to know that this is much more important somebody missed it we sometimes we missed it but you have to remember i am making a gist of this you can took it noted down for all ceramic restoration we have to reduce the structural the structure of the tooth 2 mm for metal ceramic it is between 1.5 to 2 mm that is you know porcelain fused to metal and for all metal crown that is gold alloy or ss crown you can we can make the reduction 1.0 that means 1 to 1.5 mm so these are three consideration for three types of uh, restoration or processes we have to mention we have to know that for all ceramic restoration i am again repeating reduction should not more than 2.0 mm for metal ceramic reduction not not more than 1.5 to 2 mm we have to resist between this uh, but not below 1.5 mm and for me all metal that means ss or metal res metal uh, prosthesis metal crown we have to do it the reduction 1 mm minimum to maximum 1.5 mm okay here uh, it was uh, about the structural durability uh, and uh, already we uh, discuss about marginal integrity i am again repeating the marginal integrity so marginal integrity is marginal adaptation and interaction and seating of the restoration uh, preferably suprasensible we prefer the prosthesis or restoration over the tooth suprasensibly it is most common most adorable and most uh, preferable but for anterior teeth when there is a question of uh, aesthetics when there is the question of um, uh, shape of the tooth the arch or arch shape of the tooth the aesthetics of the tooth there we can go subsensibly and when there is a short crown we have to make it surgical crown lengthening so in that case we go subgingivally that is the preparation should go below the gingiva rest other case and more commonly we place the restoration supra gingivally that is integrity should be and seating of the restoration should be supra gingival rather than subgingival when subgingival when it is anterior steep preparation when it is anterior tooth preparation when it is short crown okay the final and uh, last principle was uh, preservation of healthy periodontia everyone know finish uh, so healthy periodontia is very much important because what is periodontia you all of the students know in second year already so periodontia 
is a structure composed of uh, composed of three or four like uh, mm, cementum periodontal ligament and alveolar one all together and this is known as periodontia so the final principle we maintain that this is healthy periodontia with all the structure are without pathology the di not diseased so this is healthy periodontia so for the long lasting of the restoration for the durability of the restoration for the all the four principle depend on this finally healthy periodontia if the periodontia is not healthy this four principle will not work so আমাদের চারটা মূলনীতি পাঁচটা মূল দুঃখিত পাঁচটা মূলনীতি থাকবে অবশ্যই পাঁচটা মূলনীতি আমাদেরকে মেনে চলতে হবে বাট দ্য লাস্ট ইজ দ্য বেস্ট আমি আবার রিপিট করছি সো হোয়াট আর দ্য বেসিক প্রিন্সিপালস অফ টুথ প্রিপারেশান আমি প্রথমে হয়তো ভুল বলেছিলাম চারটি আসলে পাঁচটি হবে আমরা লেকচারে চলে এসছি নাম্বার ওয়ান প্রিজারভেশান অফ টুথ স্ট্রাকচার রিটেনশান অ্যান্ড রেজিস্ট্যান্স স্ট্রাকচারাল durability number 4 marginal integrity and number 5 preservation of healthy periodontia here one term sometimes is making very confused and uh, sometimes in viva uh, for under graduation and post graduation come here like uh, what is uh, functional cast bevel and finish line i am coming these things then at last we will go for uh, steps of preparation of the tooth so um, what is functional cast uh, uh, according to a reference uh, uh, here i mention star vedan star vedan 2015 august accordingly he mentioned that and uh, through wikipedia we can know that Functional cast is nothing, but to simplify, we can simplify it by a definition uh, that is, it is a walking cast. Uh, that is, uh, which cast is functional, functionally present in the occlusion. In which occlusion? In centric occlusion. What is centric occlusion? It is the maximum intercuspation of tooth. You know very well, so when there is class 1 occlusion, what is he going to, uh, according to, um, uh, orthodontic classification you know the class one because occlusion is much more important in prosthodontics as well as orthodontics everything is occlusion what it may you do you have to maintain the occlusion of the jaw otherwise it is nothing no prosthodontics no orthodontics so it is very much important so centric occlusion is the maximum intercuspation of tooth and what is functional cusp here in centric occlusion the cusp with is opposed by the cusp through occlusal force অর্থাৎ ধরে নিচ্ছে আমি ছয় নম্বর দাঁত আমার ফার্স্ট মোলার অপোজিট সিক্স আমার যখন আমার এখানে কয়টা কাস্ট ফার্স্ট উই নো ভেরি ওয়েল ফোর ওর ফাইভ কাস্ট সামটাইমস ফর ম্যাক্সিলার ফার্স্ট মোলার দ্যার ইজ ফিফথ কাস্ট সো মিজি অ্যাঙ্গুলার আমার কাস্ট অ্যান্ট্রিও বাক্কাল কাস্টটা আমার নিচে এসে অপলোড করছে কোথায় অ্যান্ট্রিও বাক্কাল গ্রুপ অফ লোয়ার ফার্স্ট মোলার সো যে কাস্টটা অপোজ করছে দ্যাট ইজ ফাংশনাল কাস্ট which is remaining that is non working cast so maximum clearance occlusal clearance is done here so in single term uh, functional cast is the working cast so what is working cast in centric occlusion which curve which curves face the occlusal forces this is a functional cast or working cast it's a term and th there are very uh, very important things is finish line for um, marginal integrity and preservation of healthy periodontian there are different types of finish line preparation you know number one is chamfer number one is shoulder shoulder again can be round shoulder bevel shoulder like this and there is another two preparation and uh, that is feeder is and knife is so let's discuss in short what is chamfer it's a very important thing it is a curve slope from the axial wall till the margin axial wall you know the axial wall mesial or distal wall of the tooth is known as axial wall so 
what is a chamfer it is a curve slope from the axial wall so this is occlusal right occlusal wall or in and this is labial or this is lingual incisal wall so this surface is ax axial wall so the this is the slope this is a slope from the axial wall to the margin i think you got this so this is the uh, alveolar crest below this there is gingiva so this surface this wall is axial wall and this is perpendicular along axis of the tooth so slope or curve from this angle to to the margin is known and this preparation is chamfer preparation this is curved slope curved slope which instrument is used here torpedo torpedo diamond bar very important it is also for mcq and clinical questions so torpedo diamond bar is used to prepare this uh, chamfer uh, finish line uh, it is uh, by torpedo bar we maintain 90 degree cavo surface angle i think you got this uh, term in conservative dentistry what is cavo surface angle in case of cast metal or metallic uh, prosthesis or pfm porcelain fused to metal this preparation is choice orthat cast metal preparation er jonno chamfer is the best choice for us and eta 90 degree cavo surface angle e preparation kara hoy torpedo diamond bar di preparation kara hoy eta ki axial margin porjonto the ei preparation ta ke amra bola hoy hocche chamfer preparation in short now come from shoulder preparation shoulder er moddhe bevel shoulder ashbe round shoulder ashbe so what is shoulder preparation this is a finish line perpendicular to the axis see eta chilo ekta slope ar this preparation 90 degrees so perpendicular from the to the axial surface right so this is the axial surface so this is the perpendicular that is 90 degree so this 90 degree preparation uh, to the axial surface is shoulder and when there is making bevel some bevel like this it is called bevel shoulder for anterior tooth this uh, bevel shoulder preparation is much more accepted much more appreciated and finally there is another two uh, for knife is and feather is extremely thin finish line sloping shoulder it is also called as sloping shoulder so it is uh, uh, also a preparation uh, for anterior tooth preferably but more and shoulder what are the soft for fixed prosthodontics commonly we use uh, full veneer crown see and wear steep crown or jacket crown is a basic difference for the preparation of these two types that is post treated preparation rest all principle are same because uh, occlusal reduction axial reduction mm, then incisal reduction simply so for both of these at first for preparation after with all aseptic reduction we have to go for occlusal or incisal reduction for full veneer crown that is for entire cusp we cover all the cusp all the four or five cusp of the tooth it is called full veneer crown covering whole surface of the tooth not one or two cusp all the cusps it encompasses the all entire crown structures this is known as full veneer crown and this is the uh, this principle is followed for pfm on all ceramic all also for for metal same process so first for posterior preparation already we mentioned how much we have to reduce for porcelain metal how much we have to reduce for full metal how much we have to reduce for all ceramic restoration how much we have to reduce for all metal 
So same thing like here, occlusal reduction, we have to make that principle, we have to follow this uh, preparation um, to uh, preserve the vital tooth structure, to preserve uh, 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 the structural percentage more natural teeth, so that the processes can uh, withstand the force with the help of the apartment tooth. So when there is anterior tooth, the difference is there is we have to maintain incisal reduction. So, which uh, instrument we have to use? For occlusal reduction, we have to use torpedo diamond bar and for incisal reduction, we have to use tapered in diamond bar. These two armamentarium, you know already, that means armamentarium means instruments. So, we know a high speed handpiece with the help of my or high speed handpiece with the help of electro hydro uh, static pressure by the compressor with the electric uh, dental units uh, we use the diamond bar so for occlusal reduction we use torpedo and for also for chamfer preparation and for uh, inside the reduction we, we use tapered diamond bar then after for posterior occlusal and for anterior incisal reduction at first next we have to go for axial reduction so what is axial mesial distal so uh, uh, buccal lingual and proximal so proximal surfaces is the mesial and distal and there is buccal surface lingual surface or in case of the posterior buccal uh, labial uh, lingual or buccal palatal buccal lingual labial lingual if upper and lower uh, you all know about the oral anatomy on the morphology of the teeth so i think you will better understand here orthat occlusal reduction amra pesoner dater khetre korchi ebong samner dater khetre amra incisal reduction korchi samner dater khetre arekta additional reduction amra kori seta hocche singular reduction orthat seta aro tapered in bar diye korbo ebong very minimal reduction because singular is very close to the in anterior teeth so pulp one is very much close so if we do the vital tooth preparation we have to be more careful here we have to be much more careful for the preparation whether in season and singulum mainly in singulum so uh, for entry strip crown or anterior jacket crown preparation we have to maintain that carefulness and so after occlusal or incisal reduction we have for both posterior and anterior we have to go for axial reduction that is buccal lingual or palatal and proximal so we have to be very careful because this is uh, related to the gingiva alveolar crystal level healthy periodontium and also as well as the vital tooth structure uh, for the future prognosis of our prosthesis uh, means fixed prosthesis so again for axial reduction we made another torpedo diamond bar buccal and lingual walls are reduced here and for buccal and lingual uh, walls or proximal walls we prefer chamfer that is uh, till the margin that is curved slope from the axial wall to the margin more commonly supragingivally in some exceptions or for anterior teeth or for short crown subgingivally and also for um, uh, incisal reduction uh, for incisal reduction we have to make perpendicular to the incisal half the cutting tendency will be the incisal half and it should be perpendicular lumbar lumbar orthat no boidiki perpendicular and here tapered diamond point is used and for lingual reduction we use wheel diamond there is a round bar you know the dicks uh, and some um, uh, some cases we told the discs, discs bar, um, some lab tolics that is very, uh, very thin round bar, diamond bar. It is known as wheel diamond. It is used for lingual reduction for preparation of the tooth. So today's this short preparation, uh, we can summarize our lectures for uh, benefit of you students and fellow colleagues. Maybe there are some mistakes. Please take it. Uh, as a forgiveness because you all think so any mistakes mm, take into consideration and 
So now I'm going to summarize the whole things. So today's uh, topics was the tooth preparation, which was a vital part of uh, fixed prosthodontics. And there were, I mentioned earlier, five principles for tooth preservation of the vital tooth structure. Number two, retention and resistance. Number four, marginal integrity and least but not the last, that is healthy pet intention. And we discuss a lot in, um, uh, in depth in uh, previous discussion. I am now just summarizing. And we have to memorize what is retention, what is resistance, what is uh, bevelling, what is chamfer, what is shoulder, what is knife is, what is feeder is, and what what is supragingival preparation, what is subgingival preparation, uh, when we should do supragingival, when we should do subgingival, which is common, which is ideal, which is contraindicated. Definitely, you have to go to uh, further reading for textbook as this is a lockdown situation, everybody is stuck in the home. I think uh, in this situation, uh, uh, I can give you some idea about uh, this ideal time from my memory uh, and from my some sorts of lectures uh, previously. So, and uh, this, ret this retention can be get, um, uh, gained by uh, some way. Uh, we discuss primary retention, how gain, secondary retention we can gauge by pin, box, groups like these and for vital tooth structure we have to m maintain, um, we have to maintain the preservation of vital tooth structure by minimum reduction but ideal reduction we have to done because if less reduction already we mentioned, we mentioned some principle here where um, tapering more retention that is tapering is inversely proportional to the retention and also uh, proportional to the retention when uh, the crown height is more the uh, retention of the prosthesis uh, will be more if uh, there is a less or uh, short uh, clinical cut so there will be less uh, retention and for finish line preparation we have to uh, we have to memorize we have to uh, remember that there are four types of finish line preparation very easy and again we are summarizing chamfer shoulder feather is knife is among the shoulder there is round shoulders bevel shoulder we have to keep in mind which instrument is used that is which uh, bar or armamentariums of this preparation like uh, uh, um, here uh, hand piece and uh, high speed hand piece with the help of diamond bar there are different types of diamond bar torpedo diamond bar wheel type of diamond bar straight diamond bar straight fissure uh, for different preparation we we, we have to use uh, different bars and <coughs> we have mentioned the what are the steps of the tooth mm -hmm. Uh, for anterior and from posterior we are we will follow a closure reduction for anterior we will follow uh, incisal reduction singular reduction and for both we will follow axial reduction that is uh, proximal reduction mesial reduction distal reduction proximal means and there we we we, we also have to remember that is uh, buccal reduction lingual reduction in for posterior teeth for both upper and lower we have to keep in mind there is mm, uh, buccal reduction uh, and uh, palatal reduction and buccal reduction or uh, ling um, uh, lingual reduction and for and uh, upper we have to maintain labial reduction and lingual reduction like this so uh, and um, different preparation we will have to use different instrument but the basic things for tooth preparation we have to remember that we are touching a very sophisticated structure very touching teeth which is given by the almighty to you so before cutting before reduction you have to memorize that you have to keep in mind you are reducing your teeth then you are not sympathy it is called empathy you will think that uh, you have to be very careful for the preparation of the tooth when you go for clinical preparation for clinical class when you go for for your patient you have to be very much uh, careful in this uh, situation and you have to remember that it is human so you have to take theory in your cogn cognition level in your conception and uh, you have to do by skillness empathy and carefulness with the help of the theory and knowledge uh, in this shortage of time uh, from my small uh, store of knowledge 
I wanted to share you uh, something. Uh, this was this is my first uh, in this access medical school life. I will come another life for another topics or prosthodontics and also for uh, science of dental materials. Uh, maybe any question you can inbox me or, or also you can contact through the moderators and admin of Axis Medical School and for today's uh, thank you everybody for uh, I don't know how much I can give you the feedback I, how can I must share to you but I have tried my level best I don't know how much I can give you thank you all for listening uh, to this topics of tooth preparation uh, for next I am coming for uh, with uh, dimensional uh, that means uh, vertical dimension and then artificial tooth arrangement and uh, uh, processing of dentures and processing of prosthesis thank you everybody stay healthy stay safe in this lockdown situation uh, uh, pray to almighty for all of uh, my dear students my channel and the front fighters, the doctors, nurses, the media uh, worker, the reporters, the forces, all. Thank you, Almighty Allah. Thank you, dear all. Assalamu alaikum.